my first job outside uh, the farm, I think I was uh, 14, 15, uh, maybe. Um, I remember um, I was painting a huge house together with a friend. Like that was probably the first external job. Hi everyone and welcome to Matt Gron's Scaling Up Journey. This is episode 55 and um, yes, my name is Matthias aka Matt Gron and today we have episode 55 here and uh, on the other side we have uh, the one and only Svea Lanshoff still in the cabin in Norland <laughs> and we are praying for some good Wi-Fi yeah. here today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I think the last couple of times it was fine. So let's hope. It's still quite early. I think everyone else is sleeping in the house. So I don't think anyone is using it. So, okay. All right. So, also welcome from my side from Norland to Batcon Scaling Up Journey. And as every Monday, I have prepared some questions that we're going to answer today. Are you ready? Yeah. So, Monday, what, what type of question uh, can I expect? All kinds of questions. The, That's the fun the part. <laughs> like, I, like I started to say, it's a colorful blend of questions. <laughs> All right. So, my first question for today. Um, where is your next place on your travel bucket list and why? I mean, hopefully soon we can travel again. And I guess every one of us has some ideas what the next spot could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bucket list, it's a very fancy word. Um, <laughs> I don't have a bucket list for for um, travels and um, but something uh, that I've been thinking about, uh, you know, for a long time is actually to uh, road tripping uh, through Europe and the Alps. That would be an, uh, an amazing trip. The European Alps? Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> Actually, yeah. th three, four years ago, I had um, a BMW, like a long one, and I threw a yeah. mattress in there. And then I was driving, uh, yeah, all over in Southern Europe. I was like in Switzerland, uh, Austria, Southern Germany, obviously Czech Republic. Um, that area is super, super nice. If you want any tips, let me know. <laughs> okay, yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, so how... For how um, long was you going to do that? I was doing that for two weeks. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you probably need two weeks, mm. at least. Yeah, but it's, it's so I nice. Think. I think if you if you do that, um, I would almost suggest something like uh, sleeping in a car or something, like maybe having a van. It's, I think it's just fun to stop wherever. So I think if I would have planned beforehand yeah. where I want to sleep, it would not have been the trip that it was. So that, like that, I could just stop wherever I thought it was nice and slept next to a waterfall in Switzerland. And yeah, that was good memories. <laughs> but um, I think my yeah. next trip, when I think about it, um, you know, like I just said, with, with Corona, I think uh, we all are kind of uh, longing for traveling again. And I love traveling. But I've been saying for a couple of years, I really want to go to Iceland. Um, and I've also got Davi to the point now where he's saying he wants to go to Iceland too soon. So hopefully we can do that and also have like a road trip there. And I mean, for a photographer, that's uh, heaven, right? Iceland. I mean, there's so many beautiful spots. So hopefully we can do that soon. Otherwise, just something warm, you know, just somewhere, uh, Italy, Spain, Greece, something like that. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm happy when we can <laughs> start doing that again. All right. That's the travel bucket list yes. part. Uh, let's go over yeah. to Amazing. what activity instantly calms you. Maybe traveling. <laughs> but is there something uh, you like to do where, you know, can I do that? I'm completely relaxed. <laughs> I think uh, walking is something that calms me mm. down. If I'm, if I if I have like thing, if I have too much things um, on my mind, and uh, you know I feel a bit stressed, um, then I, I think uh, if I if I go for a walk, uh, it calms me down. Yeah. Yeah. 
I agree. I think we also talked about that before, that um, when you're stressed at taking a walk is good, you know, clearing your head. And I think yeah. it's actually um, like scientifically proven that there are some things that your uh, brain is sending out that uh, makes you happy and relaxed. Um, I think yeah. for me, it's also anything that's connected to looking at water. That could be the ocean, could be a lake. For me, I love that when I when I need to think about something and I have like a lake nearby or better the ocean like here. Yeah, I love to just I either have a walk or sit down and just look at the wave. It's so so meditating, meditating, meditative. I think to just mm. look at water it does something to you. Do you have the same feeling when you look at water? Yes, I think yeah, it's a definitely. human thing. I think people yeah. just feel good when they look at it. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not terrified for the water, of course. Yeah, that's a good <laughs> point. <laughs> okay. Um, for the next question, I've actually just checked my phone um, and okay. to see what my most used apps are. So um, what would you say are the app or the couple of apps that you use the most on a daily basis? Um, let's see. Screen <laughs> time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was check uh, checking that too. So, um, <laughs> I, uh, it seems like, uh, yeah, top top two is, uh, yeah, the, the web browser, <laughs> Safari, and then yeah. Instagram. Yeah, uh, okay. Oh, good. That makes me feel better because I was going through a couple of weeks and I was like, no, it cannot always be Instagram every week. No. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. It's it's Instagram yeah. and then it's uh, YouTube and apparently either maps or camera. So, or photo okay. roll. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's what I do, apparently. I wish it would have been something, you know, educational, like the news page or something. <laughs> but, yeah. I think yeah. We're all guilty exactly. of that. <laughs> My third app is... Uh... The ec Economist app. Ah, okay. Yeah, so, didn't you talk about that? That you um, uh, started reading that, or like got a it's called abonnement when you when the epidemic started to be up to date. I have something. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yes. Uh, what's that uh, about? That is it. An online magazine. Yes. What is that the about? Economist. I think it's very serious <laughs> uh, journalism <laughs> and. Uh, I mean, it's like a, you you find a, all kind of news there, so it's ve very well written and uh, also a very good uh, source for me to maybe stretch my English a little bit more. Uh, there is always uh, words uh, that I never you know seen or <laughs> yeah. heard before, and Same. <laughs> yeah, so I like it very much. Uh, it's kind of good because uh, you could. Uh, you could actually listen to the uh, articles at the same time when you read it, which okay. means you get both text and someone is really pronouncing the words for you. So that's actually uh, it helps super me. helpful. Yeah. yeah, it helps me. So, so I always try to, you know, if there is some time over, I always find something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and there, there there is a lot of like business and entrepreneurial and um, s scientific yeah. stuff in there. So I mean, yeah. it's called Economist after all, right? So yeah. <laughs> okay, and my next question for today is: uh, How old were you when you started working for the first time? Yeah, I think I told you before. I grew up on a farm, so uh, you know there was. Uh, uh, Sometimes there was a things you need to support um, the the family with uh, on the farm. So um, I don't really remember how old I was. Uh, Roughly. Let's but but let's say yeah, let <laughs> maybe twelve, ten, twelve, yeah. something. Yeah. And what did you do there? Like all kinds so, of things, I guess. But... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, all, I mean it, all kind of things. So uh, typically, typically it was very, you know, season based, mm -hmm. and uh, mostly I would say it was during the summer mm -hmm. um, when um, when we needed to uh, hay, get yeah. hay, yeah, get, get the hay uh, for, for the cows, and uh, and uh, yeah, then I helped. 
uh, around that. And um, so you had a lot of animals on the farm. Yeah, we 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 had. Uh, I think it was about 60, 70 cows okay. uh, for a period, yeah. So, but mostly I, I was, I was, I was, um, you know, I was driving a tractor or something. Being twelve years old, yes. only in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And um, and then uh, my first job outside uh, the farm, I think I was uh, fourteen, fifteen, maybe. Um, I remember, um, uh, so I was like, I was painting a huge house together with a friend. Like that was probably the first external job. Oh, so your first business like was Like a summer, painting. summer job. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's the or, thing, or, uh, That's yeah, the thing a... in Sweden, right? The summer jobs? Because I don't remember, yeah. I, I didn't have summer jobs and also most of my friends didn't. I think a couple of them did something, but I think here it's very, very common that uh, the kids do something in the summer. Um, I think my first job was also related to like a family business. So my stepfather at the time, he had his own company uh, or still has and he um, was doing mainly like advertisement whoops, products like ball pens and uh, lighters, everything. He was printing advertisement on them and selling them to the companies. Um, you know, these things that you give to your clients as a little present. And <laughs> I remember very vividly, I think I started also on 12, 13. I was responsible to build these ball pens. So I am because before they're printed, they have to be, you know, to uh, taken apart and then putting into yeah. again so i think i in my career there i probably built tens of thousands of these uh, ball pens so i'm ex i'm an expert when it comes to that yeah and <laughs> wow. then i think outside of the family business so to say um i think very classic you know like a waitress or the pizza place or something i think i was also 15 16 when i started as a at a pizza place for five euros an hour that's not even legal in germany so yeah <laughs> but you have to go start somewhere right and i think actually yeah. in a family business i earn three or four euros per hour <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have to be careful here yeah. that we are not falling under child labor or something but i think it's something else when it's your own family business and you build ball pants i think that's okay <laughs> okay yeah. yeah that was interesting um okay. yeah that's were my questions for this monday uh, as always, uh, interesting blend. Um, and I would say that's it for today and see you on Wednesday. Yes, on Wednesday. See you in the next one. And thank okay. you guys for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks. <laughs> Bye.